Okay, good morning, everyone. Just see a few folks joining. Let, give it a few more seconds to let the numbers climb a little bit. Nice to sense everybody being in the room with us this morning. Okay, so good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mind the Moments Thursday morning mindfulness gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. And as you know, this is a place where we invite experienced mindfulness instructors to talk with us about mindfulness and what it means to them, and as well to process as a community how we can incorporate these practices into our daily lives. I'm Suzanne Rowe Palacino, and I'm delighted to be here with Kel Juilliard, a mindfulness instructor and longtime meditator. Good morning, Kel. Good morning, Suzanne. Lovely so nice to be to here with you all. Yeah, so nice to be here with you this morning. <clears throat> so today we will start out with a question for the group. Cal will lead us in a guided practice and share some thoughts with us. And then um, within that time, he'll give us a little opportunity to have uh, some reactions and questions in the chat. So if you can go to the bottom of your screen, open up the chat. And if you have any general questions to start, you're welcome to type those in now. Um, but also feel free to click on the drop down menu that says uh, participants and attendees if you'd like to see all the comments from both the, um, uh, I'm sorry, the panelists and the attendees. And you can see all of the comments that flow through as we sit here together um, and listen to Kel. So I'd just like to hand it off to Kel this morning and say, what question do you have for the group? Oh, you're on mute there, Cal. Thank you, Suzanne. The question I wanted to ask is, what is one feeling that you're noticing in your body right now? What just one feeling of any kind that you're noticing in your body right now? And I'll put this in the chat as well. Yeah, I have to say, uh... Yeah, a lot of people tired, tense, another tired, restless, a bit edgy, overwhelmed, uncomfortable, overwhelming, facing the day, stiffness, anxious, pain, a bit chilly. Sun makes me think it's going to be warmer than it actually is, which it will be eventually. Thank goodness. That's true where I am too. It's definitely cooler than the sun would, <laughs> would imply. <Yeah. laughs> I um, like too early to decide. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. Yeah. A lot of different feelings there. <clears throat> well, that's good to uh, good to hear where everybody is this morning. We're all in a different state. So uh, hopefully our time together can be nourishing for everyone. So. And Cal, if you wanted to. Oh, someone said pain as well. So, okay. So I'll let you get started, Cal. Okay, thanks Suzanne. And thanks everybody for typing in your uh, feelings and responses, really appreciate that. So the theme for this month is sleep and um, this, Meditation is definitely going to relate to that, although it will relate to many other things as well. My uh, most important meditation teacher is Yonge Mingyur Rinpoche, who wrote the book Joy of Living. And the practice we're going to do uh, comes from him. Um, and it is a way of approaching the body scan. And I wanted to share an idea with you about this. He says, that the subtle energy in our body, and those of you that do yoga or martial arts or Tai Chi or have had acupuncture, it's called Qi or Chi or Prana, 
Um, maybe you've had some experiences around that. Maybe uh, you've heard it referenced in those approaches to working with our bodies. Mingyur Rinpoche says that that energy moves with awareness. So that where we place our awareness, very simply, just what part of our body we're aware of, the subtle energy moves to that part of the body. So effectively, when we do a body scan, we're kind of bathing or washing or flowing that energy through our body. So this is something to really approach with ease and lightness and relaxation because you don't have to put any effort into this. You don't have to intend for it to happen. You don't have to work at it. You just have to bring your awareness to a particular part of your body and notice what you're feeling there. So with that in mind, we're going to begin our practice. And the idea is just to bring a playful curiosity to this, uh, just to notice what happens for you. And there may be nothing in particular that happens, or you may notice different things. Um, and we're gonna, be, we're gonna have a chance to check in with that. We're going to do a practice, then have a chance to check in a little bit, and then we're gonna repeat the practice so that um, you can kind of have two different takes on this. So let's get started. Just check in with your posture. You wanna be sitting or lying or standing in a way that feels well-grounded, that fosters alertness, so an upright sort of dignified posture and yet relaxed and at ease. So just take a moment to check in with your posture and get adjusted and settle around until you feel like you're, you're in a good place and well-grounded. And always feel free to keep your eyes open or to alternate between opening and closing your eyes. It should be whatever feels most comfortable and natural for you. So with eyes either open or closed, just bring awareness to the feeling of your body as a whole. Now again, in a gentle, very relaxed way, it's just this sense of, I have a body. Just notice what it feels like in a very easy, concrete way to have a body right now, to notice your body. Another way of approaching this is to just notice that you're alive and aware here and now. And now we'll begin the body scan. I'll lead it at a certain pace but later you might want to make that slower or faster, whatever your preference is, but simply bring awareness to the top of your head and notice what sensations are there. You're not creating sensations or needing to visualize anything. Just notice, does the top of your head have a feeling? Maybe it doesn't any experience is okay. And now moving down, noticing the forehead, the, the back of your head, the top of the back of your head, just noticing if there are any sensations present. Now moving down to your eyes, noticing what do your eyes feel like right now? What are the actual sensations you're noticing in your eyes? And now to your nose and your ears, 
the middle part of the back of your head. What do they feel like in this moment? Now to your mouth, your tongue, the inside of your mouth. Now your jaw. And just notice, is there any tension there? You don't have to do anything about it. Just notice what the feelings are. Now your neck. What are the actual physical sensations coming from your neck? and your shoulders. Noticing the small movement as you breathe in and out, how, how they rise and fall just naturally with the breath. And your upper arms your elbows and forearms. Your hands. There's a lot of nerve endings in your hands. Are they warm or cool or in between? Any tingling you notice? The texture of what they're touching? just noticing the actual sensations. Now coming back to the chest, the rib cage, noticing the sense of movement with the breath as the breath comes and goes on its own. No need to control the breath. And the belly also moving with the breath and the lower back. Your hips, noticing any sensations of weight, and pressure from the weight of the body against the chair or cushion. your upper legs, thighs, your knees and calves and shins, just noticing the sensations, if any, that are present. And finally, your feet. Feeling the weight of their resting upon something. Again, are they warm, cool, any tingling? And now take a moment to just check in with what your body as a whole feels like. Do you notice any shift, either on the emotional or feeling tone level, or just physically? Are you more or less relaxed? Has there been any shift in sensations in your body as a whole? Just bringing a gentle awareness of your aliveness in this moment. Just making a mental note of, is that different from when we started? 
And now we're going to go the reverse direction. Again, bringing awareness to your feet. And to your calves and lower legs. Your knees and thighs. Your hips, just noticing what sensations are there. Your belly and lower back moving with the breath. Your rib cage and upper back. Your hands. Your forearms. Your elbows and upper arms. Your shoulders. Your neck. Your jaw. your mouth and tongue, your nose and ears, your forehead and eyes. And finally, back to the top of your head, just noticing if any sensations are naturally there. And now again, checking in with your body as a whole, noticing what your sense of aliveness feels like? Do you notice a difference from when we were down at the feet? Or from when we got started at the beginning? Just noticing any shift in the overall feeling tone of your body. Now, if your eyes are closed, I'm going to suggest that you gently open them, coming back to the space that we're in, each of us, and just recognizing the spacious openness of awareness, that we are present and aware, and that thoughts, feelings, sensations can come and go in this large space of awareness itself. How our lives, our thoughts, our emotions, our sensations, our relationships all take place in the spaciousness of awareness. Okay. So I think we're going to alter our plan a little bit because I noticed it's already 8.50. (laughs) That took longer than I thought it would. Let's check in in the chat box and share if you're comfortable doing so when you scanned down your body and got to your feet, did you notice any difference? And if so, what it was? There's no right or wrong answer here. Just did you notice a difference? 
what was it? I see a warmness, feeling better in the chat box, became very relaxed, more grounded after both, happier. Any answer is fine. Whatever your experience was, definitely more present. Feet to head was more relaxing. What about uh, in terms of when we ended the meditation and up at the top of the head, did you notice any difference from when, when we, we ended down at the feet as opposed to when we ended up at the head. John already asked about, uh, answered that about feet to head was more relaxing for him. So the idea here is that you're tuning into the way your unique body, energy, spirit, mind system works. There's kind of a rule of thumb and like all rules of thumb, it often doesn't apply to everybody, but that when you scan down the body, it's relaxing and grounding and a good practice to do to enhance sleep or to fall back to sleep. And when you scan from the feet up, it's energizing and alertness creating. But this is definitely can be different depending on the person. So this is why it's really important to tune into your own individual experience. I see Rizvana said the anxiety started to disappear. I too will often feel an emotional shift in a positive direction when I do the body scan. And you might notice that it's more energizing to go from the top of the head down to the feet. So I do that when I'm feeling, well, I, I do the energizing direction for me when I'm feeling fuzzy and confused and ungrounded and too much, you know, and, and uh, low energy. And when I'm like way up in my head and my thoughts are whirling, I do the scan from the top of my head to my feet because it's really grounding and calming. But that might not be the way it works for you. So as you do the body scan in the future, notice what happens for you. And then when you wake up in the middle of the night or have trouble going to sleep, you can use that information to do this in a way that's good for you. Just a couple of tips. Uh, those of you who have restless leg syndrome, I wouldn't recommend bringing the energy down into your legs, you know, ending with your legs because I notice for me that can trigger a little bit of that. Um, so when I want to go to sleep, I start at the top of my head and I bring my awareness down to my heart. And that seems to work really well for me. I don't go any further. So experiment with this, bring curiosity to it. I see Colleen has said, so many places of pain have no feeling when I do a body scan. And the idea, Colleen, and those of you that had a similar experience, is not to worry about this, not to bring anxiety to this. Just by doing the body scan, you are moving the energy through those parts, whether you feel it or not. The energy actually itself can't get stuck. So just continue bringing awareness to the parts of your body. If there's no feeling there, no problem. You can stay there a little bit. You can move on, whatever your inner wisdom tells you. And the energy will move. And it's like kind of a bath, whether you feel it or not. So very important not to bring tension or anxiety to this practice. Just don't worry about it. It's happening whether you feel it or not. So I'm going to turn it back to Suzanne. I think I'm probably out of my time. And if you have other comments, though, keep them in or any questions please do. Um, Suzanne? Yeah, thank you so much, Cal. I, I love the opportunity to reverse it because that's, that's something 
I haven't, I didn't really, I wasn't aware of the changes that happen within the body with that. So thank you for that guidance. And uh, just reminders to folks to thank you uh, for all of your comments and questions and participation this morning. A couple other ways to keep in touch with us. As you all might know, we're here every Tuesday and Thursday. So at 8.30, we'll be back on Thursday with Tara. And we have on our website at Living Well at Home, virtual fitness classes, yoga, and Zumba, as well as wellness webinars that you can find. Uh, those yoga and Zumba classes are live, so that can be um, a great opportunity for connecting. Also on uh, our partnership with mindful.org, we have some pain management resources there, both in English and in Spanish. You can connect with us on Facebook at Mind the Moment. And also you can see this session, older sessions, as well as um, Tara's um, interviews with researchers in the field at our YouTube page, Mind the Moment, under the video tab. So uh, thank you all. And thank you, Cal, if you have any closing remarks for anyone, if you want to uh, share those with us, but we really appreciate having you here and your guidance. Well, I just want to thank everybody who responded in the chat and Colleen in particular uh, for bringing up the idea about pain and no feeling because that's such an important thing and takes, I think it takes a little courage to make a comment like that. So I just want to say thank you. Um, and uh, just to say, you know, emotions and sensations all kind of get mixed together in our bodies. And so just the simplicity of this body scan can really help us on the emotional level to, to kind of hold the emotion, but in the context of ourselves as a whole, so that we're not lost in the emotion. So the body scan is a really great thing to do when a, an emotion is present to help us be with it and yet not be swept away in it or lost in it. So I'll just leave us with that thought um, if there's no other questions. Wonderful, well, thank you so much, Cal. We really appreciate you being here with us this morning. And thank you for all of the participants and we hope to see you on another session and hopefully on Thursday. So thanks for joining again. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.